Are you ready for this my is, announcement? This is Samoan work. I would like to, ch- to share this with you. Oh, yeah. Come on, cuz. All right. And I feel like Destiny might have a perspective on this. But so I've been with my girl for mm-hmm. seven years. That's we just got married. Mm-hmm. We're not in an open relationship. But from a porn perspective, we shoot with other girls, stuff like that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But no other guys is busting her coochie and ass off. Well, you guessed it. Over the weekend. Oh, no. Something like that happened. She filmed her first ever scene with another man. I know oh, you was mad. Shit, you I was mean, angry. I, I agreed to it, so I wasn't. But, I, would, but, I say but, angry but, might not be the word. But you was kind of like disappointed a little bit, like you <sighs> five like cut like cut. That's your six. You know, I agreed to it. She gave me a lot of outs on the way in. Like yeah. she kind of kept telling me, like if you don't want me to, I won't do it. You, you should know? have said no. <laughs> I, I I said that I wanted you her to got do it. I'm like on top of millions of dollars, Adam. You didn't have to do that shit. Fair enough, but I Come I on, told her bro. I'm like I think you should do it. Let's let's get it All out right, the way. So how, how do you five about it now? She's 32. Do I need to get you an old English? No, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't need right. to drown the pain in <laughs> no old English. Uh, but I was kind of surprised because I feel like I can like intellectualize it, and okay. from my perspective, I don't think it should be a big deal. Yeah. But then after she actually did it, I'm not going to lie, I did feel kind of odd. You know, get, well, a little bit of that feeling in, in the belly, See, you know? Was, was, like, was the guy black? Like, for real? Yeah. Like, oh, God damn, like, <laughs> Yo, I can, bro, I can just see now, like, academics live streaming this shit. What about bro? you, yeah. Flacco? You have a woman? Let's stay on topic. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's fake. It, when you, your open relationship, you ever have this this sort of thing where, you know, she hooks up with someone else and, like, at first, at least, did it kind of rub you the wrong way? or is? I've actually thought a lot about this because I feel certain types of ways with random girls that I'll meet when they're banging other guys. And you know what I realized? So I'm going to give you a perspective that's super unique, okay. and I don't expect anybody to be able to relate to it. Because our situation is different because you mm-hmm. are in an open relationship. Open, yeah. I'm just in like an open porn, porn relationship. relationship yeah. you know? yeah. The way that I feel is the only <laughs> time I get like jealous of people is when I lose access to somebody. Mm-hmm. So for my wife, if she's fucking other dudes, I don't care. I can fuck other girls. That's fine because we still have each other. Mm-hmm. The only time I'll get a little bit jealous is if I'm like, if there's a girl I'm seeing that's like really cool, and then she gets a boyfriend, and then we can't fuck anymore. That's usually where I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, that sucks. But like, if so, if people I like are fucking other people, as long as I still fuck them, as long as we still hang out or whatever, I'm usually cool. But it's when I start losing access to people, and I'm like, oh shit, and I start to feel like a little bad about it. I mean, but I'm yeah. expecting you to say that you're jealous of your girl doing certain things, but no, you're jealous of. When one of your side bitches ends up in well, a relationship, well, it would be. Actually, don't fuck homeless men in tents. I was wrong about you. Not usually. Probably. Yeah. No, you <laughs> mean most... not usually. Do you do it or you don't? Well, I don't want. I, I don't want to principally take it off the table. Maybe yeah. there's a really hot homeless guy out there or something. You know, I don't know, it's man. Fine. Oh, <laughs> oh, fuck him, dude. Cool. Wow. There are, wait, the, but he's kind of listening to like uh, he's really slick though, because it's an open relationship. But like his girl says, she only messes with. Other girls, so like no, her, she's she, right now. Really she's care. in like a girl phase, but she can fuck yeah. other dudes. It's fine, yeah. It's yeah, but it's mm. that the, like what would bother me is like let's say we have plans or whatever, and she's like, oh no, I'm gonna go hang out with another guy instead. That would probably make me feel okay. a certain type of way. But like generally, like like I'm traveling now, she's traveling now. Like we're hooking with people, so yeah. It's I know because I was playing poker all day the day that she did it, so I was like yeah. that. I was already like locked in to be doing something all day. If she uh-huh. wasn't doing that, she probably would have just been doing some regular like you know hanging out with the sure. family type stuff. Yeah. And instead, she goes and does the scene with this other guy. And I'm and I'm friends with this guy. I'm cool. But with you him. just Who's said right? you allow no. to okay. five. Fuck her in the porn industry. You just said it. You was cool with it. On camera yesterday, you, yes. But exactly at the same time. But now you five like in your heart. Yeah. Like, God damn, like, car, like. You know, I, but I feel like it's something that it I'm probably going to get. Same. I'm going to progressively it don't get the same. more it. used it to don't. it, you know, more okay with it. But I'm not going to lie. Like, I ended up actually like feeling a little bit more Did emotional you talk turmoil. With her about it? Like, hey, we've been, we've know, been talking a lot. I've been telling her how I feel. And yeah, everything. well, just start back doing the girl, girl shit. If you find. We're going to keep doing different. that. Yeah. Yeah. I see? feel like this is, it actually reminds I, me a lot. I appreciate your honesty with that, Adam. See? No, I wanted you're, to be open with you. You're a great man. You're a nifty man. I thought that he would be my ideal <laughs> like person China to Mac talk about saying. it with, and then you were probably number two. <laughs> oh, what are you saying? You know, you know Twitch, right? Nope. Twitch chat? There's like a lot of emotes and stuff, and people will say out loud, they'll be like, oh my God, that's so Omega lol. Like they'll like say emotes and stuff, and it's kind of like, and that's like what this is. Five yeah. in your heart, you know, all the, yeah, it's like yeah. the same type of. You would be astounded at the way that he's able to replace <laughs> any number with five. I'm a real, real nifty nickel though. <laughs> Oh, and look. the C's I'm instead of B's, like like you're, like you're like you're five in your heart, you know. You I kind of understand what he means. I don't even know how I understand what he means, but I kind of get it. Well, you know? come on, fifty fifth street, and you, yeah, you, you <laughs> five it. I don't know <laughs> if the blue hair is gonna save me there. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> He'll save you or yeah. make you a target. That's was he, was the elusive guy? Will he cut my hair? Yeah, he definitely will. Oh shit! Okay. You want him to cut it? 
I'll think about it. Okay. Oh, I just realized you have the five shaved in the back. I thought yeah, you had. I, said, yeah. I thought you got a oh, hair transplant was... for a second. No, no, okay. Five, five. I just got a, got a real, you know, real fresh. What we like about elusive cuts is he travels wherever you find me on hoods. And that is quite elusive. He's just yeah. always on the go. That's why he's got a little truck. He drives. Oh yeah. Home. But that it, that it was part of uh, work. you know the yeah. part of it too was like I sort of realized that or this is what I said before and is like I'm not stressed out about the idea of you doing it Mm. i felt like at a certain point i was not okay with it just because of the reaction that i know is inevitably about to come and it's probably taking place in the comments as we speak yeah which wait is this live no No. oh okay (laughs) (laughs) but (laughs) by the time they're seeing it you know are you gonna disrespect your wife no of course not no No, but uh if it was live (laughs) i don't know it's like like now now having done it though it's like i do feel sort of like this Conflicted, yeah, you, a little you bit know, of emotional you, you, yeah, turmoil. Because you don't want to, you don't want us to, you got to fight. But if you, if you, you love her like you do, right? And then you have five and five her out of your blue heart yeah. on Huster. So you got to look at it like this, cuz. You don't want to have no other man fucking her, having her moaning, cuz, when that's what you got her doing on Hood. It's like, cuz, you fight me, cuz. It's, 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 it's not nifty for you on Hood. Right. But so it, stick with who the girls though? you huh? deal with. Like, uh, so and who what? idea was it like to go out and do the and do the solo scene? Well, we've been talking about it for a while because it's like from her perspective, it's been the most in demand thing for like many many years now. Where like obviously like any of her fans, that's like the number one thing that they want to see her do because they've mm-hmm. only seen her shoot with me for all these years. So. Yeah. Yeah. Something that okay. you said is really important that takes a long time to learn is it's very easy to intellectualize something and mm. think that like you've thought through all of it, but emotionally when the time comes, people have a much different feeling about it. Um, this is something that I hear happen all the time with threesomes, mm. where a guy and a girl talk about doing a threesome and they're really excited Make for sure it. Don't spill it on your table. Adam. Appreciate it. But then when the uh, when the girl is watching her boyfriend, husband, or whatever, fuck another girl, emotionally she starts to get a whole set of feelings that she wasn't ready for. Um, that There was no way you could have like thought through it ahead of time. And then me and Melina run into that problem a lot where we'll engage. If I'm talking to girls and stuff, a lot of them be like, oh yeah, like I'm cool with your open relationship, that's fine or whatever. But then when we start getting closer, all of a sudden they're not as cool with it and then they start to feel... But Melina's you know, always cool with it? Um, We work through stuff. Because <laughs> that was the situation with me and her is that early on when we would have threesomes, she would get... Man. angry at times yeah. and be pissed off about yeah. it and stuff but then slowly having done it hundreds of times it just doesn't really like i think what you her. have to do is you have to build up some level of confidence that your partner really loves you and that whether having sex with other people it's just sex yeah and that takes a lot which is it's easier for me to feel that way because it's just porn you know yeah, whereas like if she was just like hanging out with some guy on the weekend sure. that would probably make me feel differently mm. whereas like the whole thing being documented and me knowing that it's for money and business and whatever kind of you ever do though like a threesome with you another guy and her and you actually get to sit there and watch it happen no you wouldn't how do you know Cut, that's your sitch, cuz. <laughs> that's your sitch. <laughs> Linen the Mac plug is your sitch. That's I'm not going to lie, though. This is an interesting thing, though. Yeah. I'll, I'll come clean. I'm coming clean on everything. Is yeah. that in the very, very early days of our relationship, yeah. we did do that one time with another dude. Okay. And it was like a party situation. It's not anybody that people watching this would know because yeah. I'm sure they're all trying to guess right now. Yeah, yeah you but, know they are. Yeah, yeah but, uh, but we did. But then once me and her like actually started really dating, mm. I was just like, no, we're not doing that anymore. Yeah, so now you let that happen. <laughs> now you five like, oh, I cut y'all got the increments on hood, but it's like, like, oh, hood, stick with the girl shit y'all was doing. I five you on hood. That's your sitch, cut. No man should see fucking your sitch on hood. Right. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> and also give you some yeah. appreciation too for your wife's perspective because she deals with it all mm. the time, technically watching you fuck other girls as well, right? So you right. kind of get some appreciation for it. Yeah, why the nigga though? See, like, <laughs> like, hey, listen up, right? Cause cause look, if I was you, I, I would have said, listen, like, like no niggas, no black guys, you feel me? <laughs> like fuck, right? You think I should have said that? Cause I, I feel like the black guy like, kind of makes it even like, you know, makes it. Bro, that's Bigger. so. Like, right? I, I feel like that's so weird. Worse, I, I kind of like the fact that you are so openly racist, yeah. and that you are, and you feel like I should be racist as well. No, wait, I feel like no, when, it, racist, when it comes though. to some of these communities, yeah. I legitimately think yeah. if you could choose between a girl 
that had fucked five black dudes <laughs> or yeah. one dog, what would you choose? I think a lot of Definitely people would dog, opt right? for the German Shepherd fucker. I think they actually would. Because in <laughs> the red pill world, fucking a black guy is like, it, it it's carries like such an yeah. uh, undisclosed amount of weight that it just yeah. seems like it's such a heavier thing, which I don't I don't feel like that. Yeah, yeah. it's like so fucked up. Yeah. I, I don't know. I would have probably like suggested, you know, just fuck like the white guys first and then maybe like... Upgrade? Not a lot of white guys in porn. I mean, there, right, right, there right, are, but right, yeah, right, yeah, right. Because I feel like the black guy, black guy, right, is gonna make it like a big thing, right, right. Like he's chill though. No, yes, no, but like the academics probably gonna react to it. Oh my god, black guy, right, right. right? But see, that's yeah. what I'm saying is that when I was thinking about reasons to not do it, I don't think that like academics having a really funny yeah. thirty minutes on stream talking about it. I don't think that that's really like a good reason obstacle. for me to not do it. Yeah, yeah and, and people who really hate yeah, me, that yeah, was yeah, 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 yeah. But like, is that really a reason for me to like kind of hold my girl back in her career or whatever? I don't know. We, I thought about that a lot too. Like, if me and Melina are having fights, the, the, it sounds so horrible to say, but like, the first thing I, I think about is like, if we break up, everybody's going to say, oh, it's because he got mad that she probably fucked some dude with a huge dick and now he's like upset and jealous and they and he dumped her. Or whatever. Like, if we break up, like, everybody's going to have their stories. But is, that's kind of like a dirty feeling when you realize that you're moving off of anticipating relation, what the yeah. public yeah. is going to say about it. All right, so you see it. We just hit 500K. You know what that means? That means you got to subscribe and get us to 600K because we are dangerously close to 666K. Let's go.